the most important tools that the administration has used uh, to try to revitalize those communities that have been particularly hardest hit is the Neighborhood Stabilization Program. Uh, in total to date, uh, it's been funded uh, by about $6 billion uh, between uh, two different allocations, first in HERA and then in the Recovery Act. Um, and we are announcing today uh, two steps uh, on that front. First, that um, we will be reallocating uh, what we expect to be as much as a billion dollars of funding uh, to places that have been the hardest hit by this crisis. The original allocations of this funding were spread quite broadly across the country, and what we've seen as most places uh, have begun to recover quite strongly, that, uh, as I said earlier, we do have concentrated damage from the foreclosures in, in certain communities, and so we will be um, reallocating uh, uh, that funding to places that have been hardest hit. We'd be happy to follow up with you with more detail uh, geographically uh, and, and specifics and to answer questions about that. We're also announcing support for uh, additional funding uh, for neighborhood stabilization, and we will be working with Congress uh, to uh, try to make sure that as part of, whether it's a further jobs bill or other vehicles, that we uh, increase funding targeted, again, at those hardest hit places uh, around the country. Um, we are also uh, announcing today support for uh, further funding for housing counseling. Uh, we have seen one of the most effective tools for helping uh, homeowners in distress uh, to be able uh, to remain in their homes is uh, funding that we provide to uh, HUD approved housing counselors across the country. And uh, so we are calling on Congress, working with Congress to uh, increase funding for that. Let me